Elon Musk recently tweeted, if you want to help autopilot uh, with snow specifically, to put some hydrophobic stuff on the cameras. So what I did is I cleaned uh, my cameras. You can see this is pretty dirty. Um, and I cleaned the front of my car, the front fascia. And I'm going to treat these things. We're supposed to be having a snowstorm in two days. So I figure it's good to get it ready now. I'm going to be using this, which is Aquapel. Um, as of right now, I have no recommendation because I haven't used it yet. Um, but this has really good reviews on Amazon and other websites. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use this on the windshield because people complain of chatter of the windshield wipers getting kind of stuck. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on all the cameras. And then on the front, I'm going to use Never Wet Step 2, uh, which Tesla shows on their website. So again, this doesn't say it has any kind of curing time that I need to wait. Um, but I figure I'll do it now. It'll get to sit overnight before I drive the car anywhere. And it will be about 48 hours before I encounter any snow. So the last time I tried to use autopilot in the snow, it worked well for a while until the front radar got blocked. Oh man, we got to take over immediately. Uh, I did have troubles with the side pillar camera as well. So I'm hoping that doing this um, will fix that. Elon did not say any specific products. He just said a hydrophobic coating. So I did some reading and I'm going to go with this one and hopefully, you know, this will be the one that works, uh, but let's find out. Okay, so hopefully you can tell everything is clean up there. This is actually already clean, uh, but I cleaned it again. The directions for this say you take it like this, you squeeze these two pieces together, something breaks in there, and they want you to do it over the windshield. So again, I don't want it on my whole windshield, but I'm going to start here over the cameras. And it says that should get wet. Yep, I see it getting wet there. Oh yeah, it's of course spilling onto my windshield, back and forth, up and down, so just on the camera. And then they tell you when you're done, immediately uh, get some dry, clean paper towel and wipe it off. And that's pretty much it. Now this is going to be all weird down there, but you know what? I'm doing it for you guys. You can learn from my mistakes. So it does feel really smooth wiping that off compared to here. It feels a little more rough. Um, yeah, very, very smooth. So those cameras are covered. So let's move to some of the other side cameras. All right, so here's the passenger side pillar camera. And again, I'm just going to do this. I cleaned all of this off. And that goes on really easily. And get, I think the same piece of paper towel will do fine. Just don't want to get any of that dirt in there. And that looks dry. Okay, and then the passenger side repeater camera. Kind of awkward, but goes right on there. That works really well. Just want to really make sure, yeah, it's all wet in there. It's actually easier to see that on camera. And then, sorry for the bump, just gonna wipe this off with a new piece of paper towel. And then that's it. All right, and then here's the rear camera. Uh, it looks a little dirty through my lens, but it's not. I just cleaned it, so I think that's just a reflection. We'll just take this, it works, paper towel. Okay, treated. So I'm going to do the other side of the car, and that'll be that for Aquapel. And then as for the radar, this is what you put on the front. Never wet, step two only. This is straight from Tesla's website. And uh, here's a picture of where the radar is. You can see I cleaned off that whole area. I'm going to put a lot extra on. Um, so I'm going to apply this. I'm going to apply three coats. Uh, you need to mix it really well and everything. And then uh, that's it. The car should be prepped. It'll have a few days it'll have overnight to settle and then I'll have a few days before I actually need it for the snow. All right, so here we are after three applications of the Never Wet. Do not be frightened or disgusted. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's a little more dramatic on camera, but that's pretty much what it looks like. So I think I got the radar covered. I hope you agree. Um, we went all the way from the top down to the bottom. Uh, on the website, Tesla says to just cover the whole front fascia so that you know people don't have to worry about where it is. But uh, we know where it is, so that's that. Um, the cameras all look good. So this looks good. And if we check out this camera, if I can focus on it. Um, well, the glass looks good. I was trying to show you. There's really no hazing uh, or anything like that. I guess that looks okay. Um, the cameras all look really good. I checked them for any kind of like leftover residue. All right, so I did all the cameras. Let's hope it didn't take too long. Let's get out there in two days for me, instantly for you, and see how this thing does in the snow. I have high hopes. I hope this works. I'm excited. Let's hope uh, I don't have to do anything and autopilot can uh, drive me around. Two days later. Okay, so we're starting off here on our first main road and the backup camera already has snow and a little bit of water on it. 
uh, so that didn't work out too great. Although up until this point, it has been really clear and nothing has been sticking to it. You can kind of see there's a water droplet here um, where it has kind of fallen off the camera and it looks okay. I mean, you can obviously see back there. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this as a Tesla challenge or not. Um, I really wanted to where I uh, get on the highway and let the car do everything. I don't intervene, I just you know hold on to the wheel for safety but um, I don't want the video to be too long, so you'll know by the title, you know, what I decided to do here. Um, but let's keep going. It's still snowing pretty good, um, and I will check in with you in a bit. All right, so now we're going a bit faster here. Uh, auto wipers are on, but they don't seem to want to do much, and I don't really have a great way to see how the camera looks, but you can see, uh, hopefully, this water that's kind of beating and, and going backwards, that's happening where I spilled the stuff, and even, um, see how it is flowing up really fast like that? That's where, you know, I accidentally put some of that Aquapel on the windshield. And okay, now the, the uh, wipers are doing a good job. And because of that, I am so tempted to put it on the rest of the windshield. Um, but all those reports of chattering, I don't know, I may do it. Um, I may risk it and just let it chatter because it looks so nice. And I would love if the whole windshield, you know, everything would just fly off. All right, so at least on this part of the road, the car is doing a really good job keeping the lane. It sees all the lanes across the road, which even I like can't see the lane lines. I of course know where to drive. It just looks like a wet like crack in the road um, and I don't see any lines at all. So the car is doing a really good job with that. It's also picking up uh, some road markings still. So the arrows to my left and right um, and it's also getting the traffic lights. So, so far it's looking pretty good, um, but the main thing we need to look out for is coming up on the highway um, and having the radar not get covered when you know, you're at speed and everything's freezing. But you can see there, you know, it's picking up the traffic lights. It even sees the arrow, those arrows down there, even though they have a bit of snow on them. Okay, so there it is. Um, you can see the tiny, tiny delay going from red to green on the screen. Um, and it was even blinking a little yellow. But you know, the same thing happens in your brain, right? Once you see green, it takes just a second for that information to get down to your foot. So not too big of a deal here. Uh, let's just get on the highway and autopilot's already available. So let's do it. Uh, let's call this Tesla Challenge 18 for now, unless I decide <laughs> against it. Um, and I'll just do some extreme fast forwarding. I'll try not to have too much commentary. And the car wants to drive off the road, so not very good there. Um, but you know, getting on is always a little hard for it. So, you know, considering what we're looking at right now, windshield covered, um, road has some snow on it, we're looking pretty good. So the car is gonna do its own lane change here. I did not do that at all. And I'm gonna let the car drive and let's see how it does with, you know, the never wet on the front, on the radar, I think that's the most important, but then the cameras also uh, are treated with hydrophobic coating. All right, one thing I do want to do, let's uh, save some footage here. We'll save some now, we'll save some at the end, and we can see exactly what the cameras are seeing here, because so far they are doing perfect. Now the rear camera doesn't look all that good, but most of the time it doesn't look all that good. It looks covered in water, so, uh, so far, the car is doing great. So a little bit of bad news left front fender camera blocked or blinded so that's the one over on the front left of the car here uh, and that message goes away right away so maybe it'll be okay we did not lose navigate on autopilot the car is still fully capable um, but not not good to see that Pretty much there. I'll uh, keep recording in case anything weird happens, but uh, this is not a Tesla challenge. I don't know if I was able to edit that out or not, but I changed my mind. I ended up doing, uh, I think, three lane changes. I used the wipers once, um, but overall the car did really good. We didn't lose autopilot or navigate on autopilot ever. We had one little error message um, that went away, so who knows why it was there, but it only lasted for a second. It didn't affect anything, but the big thing here is the radar didn't go out because if the radar goes out, you lose everything. You can't even do cruise control at all. So I'm gonna 
park and hop out. Let's check out the cameras really quick and the radar and see how it looks. And that'll be that. Okay, so here we are just really quick, perfectly clean. You can see it is still snowing out here. Uh, this has a little tiny thing on it. Um, I'm not sure what that is but it didn't affect the camera, so I just wiped that off. This is the important part right here. And looks pretty good, actually looks like, yeah, there's a bunch of water droplets on it. And, hmm, interesting. I don't really know what to think about that. Are these frozen? Nope, it's just water. Um, and over here, oh, okay, so over here there's a small, small layer of kind of slush. Um, and then over here it's just water droplets, so I don't know if that saved it or not. It's uh, kind of conflicted. I don't know how to feel about that. Um, and then the front cameras are perfect, which they should be. Um, so that's it. Uh, I can recommend the Aquapel. I'm going to because um, it did a lot better. Uh, I didn't have any problems with the cameras, so I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue using that, and I may reapply it um, every few weeks or something. And I'm gonna put it on the windshield. I don't care. I want that beating. <laughs> I want that beating water. And I'll update you in a couple weeks and let you know if it's chattering or not. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know your experience, what you think. Um, if you've tried anything else, I'm interested. So you will see my car in the next video.